Also in Elkhorn tonight, graphic new details after a carnival worker is accused of sexually assaulting a woman. His bail is set at $1 million. And as Rebecca Clough tells us, that worker passed at least one background check. The 21 year old was attacked after she left her job there at the subway and headed over to this public parking lot. It's within walking distance of the Walworth County Fair. Elkhorn police arrest a man from Mississippi. They say is responsible for following and attacking a 21 year old woman after she left her job last Tuesday night. The Walworth County Fairgrounds general manager says the man was in town because he worked for the carnival. Just having someone associated with the fair itself um, doing something like this is, is it's unbelievable. Larry Gaffey says the suspect was not their employee. North American Midway Entertainment, who hired the 24 year old suspect, says it did run a background check. This man did not come up at all as someone who had a criminal background that you were concerned about. I was, I, no. Um, I guess I found out afterwards he had a burglary. Um, but as I said before, we look for sexual predators, uh, people that are on the sex registry. According to the Janesville Gazette, the prosecutor said the suspect beat the woman in the head with a hammer because he was going to rob her. The suspect then later removed her clothes and sexually assaulted her. A former subway co-worker of the victim says it's common for workers to park in the public parking lot. They never worry about it, especially since it's open area. The police say the victim was beaten so badly she was unable to speak when they found her. Raven Sharp prays for her friend's recovery. It's just unfortunate that it happened to such a really good person that didn't deserve it whatsoever. We are not naming the 24 year old suspect because he has not yet been officially charged. He is being held on possible charges of sexual assault and robbery. Reporting in Elkhorn, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4.